this is Victor. I'm here with a new um, backbone video as usual. Uh, all the fr as other Fridays, I'm uh, talking. I'm doing a little bit of background, and this time we're going to talk about the 14th Legion, the Death Guard. Okay, so talking this because we have the codex as well in now in the ninth edition. So it's nice to to talk first the ones that already have codex and I know the background. Okay, so. Who is, uh, who are they? So they are um, uh, uh, part of the Chaos Forces, okay? If you have seen my uh, other videos, there is one dedicated to the Chaos Space Marines. And in concrete, this one is the 9th, uh, sorry, ninth, the 14th Legion. And these are uh, called the Death Guard, okay? So the Primarch is this guy here, Mortarion, okay? Uh, that it's also um, it is still alive in the uh, uh, yeah in for, in the year forty thousand. So so he was part of the crusade. Okay, Death Guard was a yeah as I said uh, they were uh, part of the crusade and the the um, planet the original planet was Barbarus. Uh, again and. Uh, they, 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 they were specialized on infantry and one of the things that was interesting on the Death Guard is that they, they were used to, uh, to take poison and to contaminate themselves to be stronger and to be resistant to illnesses to, uh, poisonous, to poisons and to uh, contamination and other contaminants so they really uh, were um, trying to bring the body to uh, to try to be as, as resistant as possible to all this type of contamination. Uh, but when and, and they were fighting, yeah, they were part of the Great Crusade, but they turned against the Empire when uh, Horus decided to to betray uh, the Emperor. Okay, so they were one of the first legions to betray the Emperor together with the Black Legion and together with with the War Builders and they uh, they fight in Isban uh, th uh, III uh, in the Chaos side okay they they won as I said one of the first legion on betraying the Emperor uh, they they fight in Isban th III and then Isban IV okay uh, and they uh, already they went. They also went into the Terra, uh, to the siege of Terra, and they fight uh, there. Uh, of course, as all the other legions, uh, the Chaos legions, when the battle was lost by Chaos, they they were forced to move to the Eye of Terror. But there, Mortarion keep the grip on the legion, and um, today, the Fourteenth Legion, the Death Guard, is one of the legions that. Uh, Chaos Legion that have them, or the one that uh, still have a lot of the old uh, structure of the legions during the heresy, what is uh, also quite interesting. Uh, how they they how they become then because they are uh, this is the legion dedicated to Nargel as you can see in the pictures. So uh, they become real Nargel followers. So this is the the appearance during the heresy, so they, they used to have white armor with green. Uh, this is the appearance they have um, after the heresy. How this uh, change happened is when they were um, flying, or well, flying, when they were uh, traveling to Terra for the invasion, uh, they were lost or they, they, they suffered very strong warps Storms, okay, and in these war storms, they were contaminated by the by a very by, by a plague, okay, it was called the destroyer plague. Uh, Mortarion, yeah, they, Mortarion realized that the the um, the Death Guard was not able to resist this plague, okay, although they have endured and they had a train uh, for. Uh, uh, during all, yeah, they were trained on, on fighting plagues, on fighting illnesses, on fighting um, poisonous. Uh, they were not able to stop this destroyer plague, uh, and the, then the bodies of the space marines start becoming deformed uh, with very big bellies, and, and yeah, they really get um, transformed. Uh, so, 
seeing the legion being decimated and maybe being injured because of this destroyer plague at the end mortarion uh, make a, a type so he uh, he recognized an entity in the warp as a, as yeah as a, a, a entity that was stronger than 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 him okay in a way so he uh, recognized the entities of the warp and he started worshiping Nurgle and and this was the moment when uh, the death guard start um, yeah start being an a Nurgle follower okay and with this appearance they arrived to Terra so okay do you can see then everything starts becoming really uh, Nurgle looking okay so all the all 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 the legion belongs to Nargel, so it's not like uh, other legions that maybe we can have some part worshipping to one god and some part worshipping to another god. God, um, all the legion, all the death guard that becomes betrayal because there is a part of the death guard that did not betray the emperor, uh, and and they they create the great knights in a way. So, but. Uh, on the other side, yeah, the, the part that betrayed the Emperor, all of them start uh, following uh, Nargel, okay? And they keep the same way of operating, okay? They have, they are heavy infantry, they don't use a lot of transport, so they delay trash on the endurance of the infantry, and they have some support vehicles, but mainly they, they rely on big blocks infant of infantry. So the organization of the legion, you can see at the organic one, okay? So we have at the top Mortarion, and then we have the lords of the legion, so we can have the most important uh, guys of the legion there on the top, but they also have other legions, uh, yeah, they have uh, other type of other um, support, okay? Then the legion is divided in companies. And uh, each company will have the plague company command, okay, the lord commander, that can be a demon prince or death guard lord, and then, and then they will have uh, the different in cohorts inside, okay, they will have, and yeah, they will know how many cohorts they can have, and then the cohort uh, will be at the same time uh, controlled by a demon prince or death guard lord, okay, and you can see that after the so it has the sake plague companies and each plague company we have the cohort and the cohort can be quite uh, can have quite a good a number of cohorts okay and then the cohort at the same time have the male maledictum okay and then the maledictum have um, colonies then the colonies are formed by squads seven squads okay so you have more than seven cohorts but then uh, you have two maledictums and each two maledictums will have uh, normally seven colonies okay and here is where these are the, the students so you can imagine this is a huge organization of space marines because if you multiply seven by two by i don't know how much here and then um, by other seven so it's quite a big amount of um, uh, like marines that you will have. This is another important point. This is the death guard, okay? And this codex can be used for other, um, for all the plague marines. But not all the plague marines are death guard, okay? So you can have plague marines, for example, on the Black Legion. You can have plague marines in other, uh, in the war builders. So this can happen. Uh, because you can have followers of Nurgel in other legions. You can even have, um, second foundation chapters that become betrayed and and they become as well plague marines like the purge okay so but these are the guys of mortarion okay so this is really the, the legend of mortarion and um, what else so um i will not go into that so as i said mortarion there are two main characters one is mortarion who is the primarch and uh, is a worshipper of Nurgel. And I he, uh, uh, although he was against the psyche, psyche, psyche well, the, the legion was not into a lot into the psychic powers. No, um, there is also the plague uh, sorcerers inside that are quite the plague breeders that are quite uh, they have some sorcery, especially um, um, coming from Nargel. So 
And the other important guy is Typhus. Typhus was one of the main captains or the main officers of the legion during the heresy and he has survived until the uh, uh, until the days uh, of the uh, yeah, until the 40,000 right so he keeps fighting so typhus is uh, again yeah, was uh, uh, is no uh, um, how it's called this a uh, um, horse is a Oh, a plague lord. This is and at the same time is also a sorcerer. Okay, and then you will have the other thing that is interesting from the Death Guard is that they have a part of the sorcerers and the lords of the Death Guard. Okay, they also have some special um, strange characters like the Noxious um, Blightbringers, the full uh, Bright Spawn. So they have other functions that are unique from this legion. Okay, so because at the end the Plague Lord is very similar to the Chaos Lord. The Death Guard sorcerers are, yeah, the, well, the Plague Casters are very similar to other sorcerers in our legions. But the parts that are also unique from these legions are all these other guys, like especially the the um, uh, the, the Biologist Purifiers, for example, the Tallymen. So this is really special from them. Okay, uh, and then they have. The other one that is important is the Death Row Terminators. These are the 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 Reaper was quite a weapon that was already used by the was used by the Legion in the Heresy moments. Okay, so the the lead Terminators they still using the Reaper as the close combat weapon, uh, and yeah, and it's because they they were they are yeah they have two. Harvest, or they have to kill, is the weapon they used to, to fight, right? So it's like the specialist weapon. This way, we also see the Reaper as a weapon of Mortarium. It's a symbol, it's one of the symbols of the Death Guard to have the Reapers on the elite troops and as well on, on, the, um, on some of the main characters. So you can see as well Typhus. Uh, it's not here, so we can see pictures. He's wearing a, a reaper as well. The other peculiar thing, so they they have cultists like the other legends, but they also have the Pox Walkers. Pox Walkers are humans heavily contaminated by the Nurgle powers, and they are almost zombies at this point. Okay, so uh, one of the Typhus, for example, is one of the plague masters that can't really master the, the con and control a uh, big horse of Pox Walkers. So these Pox Walkers will be the vanguard of any in normally any Death Guard invasion. They will, uh, they will, yeah. They are not. I would say they are brainless guys because they are consumed by the Nurgle powers. But they can be quite resilient and in big numbers they can be even dangerous, okay? And then of course they will have uh, some of the battle tanks. So let me open now we can go to the last one. Okay, there is no big there is no big change between 8th and 9th edition to be fair on the number of own type of troops. Okay, but um, I just want to show you. Yeah. Okay, so here we are going to see. So I, I think so you can see here again the artwork in these books is um, very nice. Just wanted to, to show you the units. But I, I think that's all what I want to start here, okay? So 14th Legion, so they they were one of the first legions to betray the Emperor. They fight in the in the heresy moments against the Emperor. They were contaminated in the way to Terra, and they were, um, yeah, due to this contamination, Nurgle took the grip on the on the legion, and since this moment they start f worshiping the uh, the Nurgle powers, and uh, yeah, they are fighting in the chaos side. Uh, they are being one of the main scenarios where they have been fighting is in the Ultramar uh, planets. And yeah, and there are no uh, big and yeah, yeah, you can see again the same we have seen before. They are no one of the main legions or the main enemies to the uh, em empire. Okay.
okay so yeah that's all what i wanted to talk about the dead guard i hope you find this video interesting let me know what do you think let me know if you will, uh, if you like to go if we would like you to go uh, go deeper on these videos but what i want to give here first is a first overview of the different factions okay so you can know what are the factions about more from the background point of view who are they and then later on we can go deeper on the different units and on the different parts okay of course i will go more or less on the ones that i know the best there are factions that i know as good as as the as the chaos or maybe the empire because i was more reading on the chaos and empire and some of the most recent parts i still need to read a little bit more to have better understanding but i hope you have uh, find this interesting please give a like if you have liked this video and as usual thanks a lot for watching and see you again later bye